What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman. Now, as is the case, sometimes industry insiders cooperate each other. Sometimes they have completely competing and different information. That's what's going on today. After we reported yesterday and from two sources that they might actually air the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and WandaVision in half seasons only because of the delays and what they have finished also being desperate to release any content. Today from a different industry insider and one that's been reliable, especially here real recently, indicating that Half seasons would be a bit of a trick given what he knows about the Falcon and the Winter Soldier season being cut and edited at this point. And on top of that, some incoming announcement from Disney and Marvel Studios. We're going to break down everything he said, debunking yesterday's story, and of course, what that announcement could be coming next week. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel related stuff, including this insane 1 4th scale XM Studios Beta Ray Bill. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So real quickly to recap, coming from a couple of industry insiders, that Falcon and the Winter Soldier and WandaVision may in fact get released in half seasons because that's all that they have done, and of course, the entire industry is desperate for content. That prompted a response from Atlanta Filming. Now, it's an anonymous account of sorts, it's just a Twitter account under Atlanta Filming, but they've had a ton of leaks especially here real recently and in response to this half season report going around yesterday they were prompted to say this and quote Oh, more fun. On Falcon, it would be hard to air the first three episodes since one of them isn't finished yet. It'd be even harder to air the last three episodes since one of those isn't finished yet either, unless they change the story and recut it. If Falcon and the Winter Soldier airs in August, it will have curiously lengthened episodes, I imagine. Loki might be able to split that up. That would be weird since it's a multiple season story already. But seriously, no one knows anything right now. Dot, dot, dot. Next week that'll change. Now for me, there's three separate takeaways in this post altogether. The first of which we already confirmed Loki is actually a multiple season show. The second of which we sort of already knew that they hadn't finished the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, although it is a bit of news that they didn't even finish some of the first three episodes yet. Then he goes on to say that no one knows anything but next week that'll change, and if no one knowing anything will change into everybody having some idea, then that seems to imply some sort of announcement on the side of Disney or Marvel Studios, either to the public or at least amongst the industry insiders, an idea of what's going on with production over at Marvel Studios, and bigger picture, what's happening with these Disney Plus shows, as I made sure to point out yesterday, when they went ahead and delayed the entirety of the silver screen, they said nothing about Disney Plus, but of course, why would you have to? There's a huge difference between needing people to be able to attend a theater and box office. You don't need to go ahead and delay video on demand and or anything to do with Disney Plus as everybody can watch that for the comfort of their own home. And why would they delay these TV shows if they didn't have to. Now, there was one other weird little sentence in there that said, if the Falcon and the Winter Soldier airs in August, it will have curiously lengthened episodes, I imagine. Now, I don't mean to claim that I had anything to do with that sentence, but it was my main conjecture point in yesterday's video that one way they could get around this, if they're only releasing half of the season, is to go ahead and make the episodes much longer in length and or release them all side by side. As I mentioned, you know the difference between Netflix and Disney+. Plus. They're putting out these shows once a week instead of all at once. That way you can't binge the whole season, but in this instance, if they only had three episodes, you make them extra long, you put them out all at once, and that would be enough content in and of itself to hold Marvel fans over who will now, at this point, be going over a year since a major release. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. A, what do you think this announcement could be, especially from Disney and Marvel? They have been quite curiously silent, especially considering there's a ton of openings now in the places they do production, both overseas and domestically. Is there any chance that this is a trailer for one or both of the TV? TV series? Probably not. I would believe that to be a bit of a stretch considering we don't even have a new release date, but that's most likely what this would be considering we're now in that middle area in the summer. There's got to be some pressure from those over at Disney Plus to want to tell us when the content's coming as they're trying to continue driving subscriptions for that service. And of course, without any real knowledge of when we'll all be back to the box office, Black Widow still has a release date of November 6th that is contingent on everybody going back to theaters, but in the case of Disney Plus, that that contingency doesn't exist. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below, how hyped you are for the Falcon and Winter Soldier, and what you think this announcement could be. Guys, I doubt it's a trailer, but probably something else like release dates. Let me know all your thoughts, and quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. 
we're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros. We're giving away two now at the 700,000 subscriber mark. We just announced a winner for the 650 sub count PS4 Pro a couple of days ago. If you missed that video, just scroll back through the channel. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video. That'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes we're giving away here at the channel, like this insane XM Studios 1 4th scale beta ray build. This will be given away at the 650,000 subscriber count. And guys, if you're not familiar with collectibles, this is in no way an action figure. Standing at almost 29 inches tall, these are immaculate 1 4th representations of some of your favorite Marvel characters. XM Studios is by far one of the best in the business. If you're not familiar with this statue, I've left a link down in the description over on Gem Mint Collectibles. Gem's a friend of mine. We acquired this statue through the Gem Mint Collectibles store. He actually did a full in-depth breakdown of this statue. So if you want to see this prize in much further detail, go ahead and click on that link. Like I said, it's down in the description. Also, make sure to uh, follow his channel while you're over there and show Gem some love. Either way, if you want to be entered to win any of the prizes here at the channel, the PlayStation 4 Pros, the Beta Ray Bill statue, or any of the other prizes we announce, hopefully as we double down all the way up to a million over the next couple of years, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell with notifications turned on. Leave a like and a comment on this video, and because it's truly random, the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, just like we're doing here. And if you've missed any of the past winners, especially here real recently, as I said, we just gave away a PlayStation 4 Pro at 650k. No worries, all you have to do is scroll back through the channel, look for the subscriber count and the winner in the title, click on that video, and scroll to the end. My name's Michael Roman, this is everything always, guys. Thanks for checking out the channel and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.